Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Up Crypto, right here on Crypto Based Media, where I bring you the latest gist and news in the cryptocurrency space. My name is Rock and here is everything that happened this week. Nigeria to establish a regulatory framework for stable coins and ICUs. 800 victims of Bitcoin X fraud to receive $17 million. Sam Bakman Fried launches a Substack newsletter to defend himself. Coinbase to lay off 20% of its workforce. Now the news in full. Nigeria to establish a regulatory framework for stable coins and ICUs. The federal government of Nigeria is set to create a legal framework for stable coin and initial coin offerings. The importance of having a legal framework for stable coins is highlighted in a new strategy paper released by the Central Bank of Nigeria. In the report headlined Nigeria Payment System Vision 2025, the Central Bank of Nigeria seeks to develop a regulatory framework for the possible incorporation of a stable coin. The report highlights the need to provide a framework considering that stable coins are a possible successful payment scheme in the country. Nigeria regarded globally as one of the frontiers pushing for integrating its own central bank digital currency has indicated its preparedness to acknowledge the existence and use of private stable coins with this latest move. Also, the report accentuates the need for regulation for initial coin offerings. It pays attention to the presence and availability of regulation in that sector, causing losses for investors. Nonetheless, the CBM believes and sees a probable adoption of ICUs as a new scheme for crowdsourcing for significant projects and peer-to-peer lending. 800 victims of BitConnect fraud to receive $17 million A group of crypto fraud victims of the BitConnect investment scheme will see some respite from the multi-billion dollar fraud scheme after a court ordered they receive a share in a $17 million restitution. The United States District Court for the Southern District of California ordered the restitution for the massive scheme on January 12, according to a release on the same day by the Department of Justice. Around 800 victims of the scheme from 40 countries will be able to receive a small slice of $17 million restitution, a term that refers to returning property or the monetary value of losses to the proper owner. Sam Bachman Fried launches a Substack newsletter to defend himself. Following crypto founder Sam Bachman Fried, on Thursday, launched a newsletter on a popular platform offering an elaborate defense of his actions. I didn't steal funds, and I certainly didn't snatch billions away. Bachman Fried said of how he ran FTX, his now bankrupt cryptocurrency firm, which has been accused of misusing the money of millions of customers. It was his biggest public defense since the Department of Justice filed eight counts of fraud, money laundering, and other charges against Bankman Fried last month. And the Security and Exchange Commission and Commodity Futures Trading Commission filed related civil complaints. Collectively, they portrayed the executive as long using customer money at FTX to fund his own risky investments, personal purchases, and campaign donations. Coinbase to lay off 20% of its workforce. Coinbase announced on Tuesday that it was laying off 950 people, about 20% of its staff. The job cuts come only a few months after another major round of layoffs. The crypto brokerage firm let 1,100 people go in June, about 18% of its headcount at that time. Coinbase, like many other publicly traded and privately held crypto companies, has been hit hard by the massive plunge in the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The price of Bitcoin is over around $20,000 after picking near $65,000 in late 2021. Some crypto fans have been encouraged by the solid starts for Bitcoin so far in 2023. Bitcoin is up more than 4% since the start of the year suggesting that crypto prices may have finally bottomed out. Alright, that's it. If you are now updated, make sure you like this video and subscribe.